Hey, good Tuesday morning. Hope you're enjoying this fabulous, sunny, cooler weather that we're enjoying in Lake Havasu City. Proverbs 16, 3 says, Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. How many times in your life have you made plans together simply to spend time after time second guessing yourself? Did I make the right choice? Am I doing exactly what God wants me to do? Hey, did you notice what it said in this verse in Proverbs 16, 3? Commit. Commit's not one of those words that we hear a lot about these days. But can I just tell you, commit literally means to both totally trust and be in full submission to the will of God. You know, Psalms 37, 5 echoes the word commit. It says this, commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. Not just give us lip service, not just shoulda, coulda, wouldas, not just thinking you ought to do something, but actually desiring to put your selfish desires on a shelf and moving forward with God's plan for your life, with your trust in His will. Your trust that God has your best interest in mind. You see, when we do this, we see God act on our behalf. On our behalf. Our mission at Calvary is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. And what that goal in my life is, and I pray that is in your life, is to committing to allowing God to use you to use your direction, to use your influence, to shape you, that God wants to shape you, He wants to mold you, He wants to make you into His servant that He can use to bring about God's action in your life and in the lives of yourself, your family, your church, and in this community. I pray that this will be your marching order, that you're called to totally trust, totally submit, and fully commit to honoring God with your life. You see, we learn how in several ways. One, by listening to the Holy Spirit that indwells us. But two, God gave us a direction. He gave us a manual. It's called the Holy Bible. If you read it, if you study it, if you practice what it says, we are convinced that it'll change your life. Not only will it change your life, but God will use your life to change your community because you have enacted God's plan for your life. I believe as a committed ministry here at Calvary, we are continuing to see God's actions change our community. Once you join God in the quest for salvation for every person in this community. Will you join me in prayer? Father, we are committed to loving you. We are committed to allowing you to change our lives. Father, we want to be totally, absolutely, unequivocally committed to doing what you want us to do, what you've called us to do, that we want to accomplish the goals that you have for each one of us. So reveal them through the power of your Holy Spirit and through your inspired word so that we can join you in the work that's going on in the Havasu and Parker community. In Jesus' strong name we pray. Amen. Hey, allow the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, O oh Lord, to be acceptable to you and in your sight so that you can use me. Have a fun and a fantastic rest of your day.